Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great. And well, she was doing a good job at blocking the address on that box, but what we have in this box is something that should help process the base that is sent to this. This is a butt kicker LFE and it's one of the bigger, heavier ones. So what this basically does is it shakes stuff. Low frequencies get sent to it and it turns those into vibrations so you can feel them goes all the way down to like two hertz or something or other and it does a pretty good job helps when you're watching movies and you know it sort of enhances everything it's great it's good it's nice nice to have great to feel so that thing i've got should process the base that is sent to this now how it does that i'm not too sure i have to have a look at it I had a brief reading of this. She just jumped on top of the chair just then and caused it to turn. So yeah, I had a brief read of the device to see what it does and stuff. And I thought I'd try it out. By the way, in case you're wondering what time it is, it is that time right there, five something in the morning. All right, so this is what we've got in the box, minus the cat. Uh, we've got a measurement microphone on the right, on the left, as you can see. Anti-mode it says, I'm not too sure what anti-mode is. Is there an uncle mode? Now we've got this, DS Beaker Shake EQ Bass Shaker Enhancer. All right, let's take a quick look at the microphone then. Yeah, so there we have it, pretty straightforward. Jack, mic, and on the back of the box, in the box, Shake EQ Remote Control, Calibration Sensor, Power Adapter, User Guide, Automatic Calibration, Smart Dynamics Processing, Adjustable Delay. All right, so I'm guessing if you have a subwoofer like me that is across the other side of the room, that adjustable delay would help you synchronize your shaker and sub a little more in time with each other. So it feels a little better. That could be handy. HPF and LPF, Test Signal Generator, Game music and movie modes made in Finland. A lot of bass heads in Finland. By the way, in case you're wondering what the anti-mode actually is, it's room correction. So basically what it does, in this case, it's meant to enhance the shaker and it adjusts your audio system to reduce like the negative effects of room acoustics, like bass resonances and standing waves, that sort of thing. So it analyzes the way the room is sounding and it applies EQ to correct any problematic frequencies. Because most rooms do have standing waves. And if you don't know, that can cause rooms to sound boomy and have uneven bass. And basically it's meant to help flatten the sound. All right, so there we have it. Remote control, power adapter, and the shake EQ. All right, 12 volts, 1.6 amps. And here we have the Shake EQ itself. So you've got your power, USB for service apparently. Outputs, inputs, nice. And there we have the front of it. Looks like we have some rubber feet on the bottom and a white label, which might be the serial number, which I'll keep hidden. Remote control, low cut, gain, wet and dry. Cinema music game, cancel bypass, nice. What else do we have in the box? Right, we've got some other things. And we have this right here, which is 3D printed, I think. Not too sure what that is, but we have it. We have something else as well. I think I should probably read this. Okay, we have now figured it out. So that one there has a sensor on it, as you can see. This one does not have a sensor on it, as you can see. But you place these more or less like that on your chair and then you sit on them. You gotta make sure this is plugged into the Shake EQ first, otherwise you're wasting your time. Or having fun. And then you run the calibration and it senses everything through this. And you feel everything through, those on the front by the way are LEDs. So this thing has three enhancing functions for your shaker. I don't know if all three can enhance your sub. I think maybe one or two of those can enhance your sub, but what it can do, Basically, dynamic processing. So that's a compression algorithm, and that improves the dynamic range of your tactile transducer. Your shaker 
The other one is a bass extender. So a lot of movies in the theatre versions, they have a lot of low end. And sometimes some of that low end, depending on the movie, has been taken out. And this basically, it'll take some of those mid frequencies that don't quite reach your shaker. It'll take those, make them lower and send them to your shaker. And then you can experience them. And number three, it can measure and detect and correct the distortion, if there's any distortion in your shaker. So that's always a good thing. All right, so that was a quick little unboxing of this device. I have a few cables on the way, and once they arrive, hopefully I'll be able to show you what this can do.